Okay, so this is the pink cliffs. Oh, look, geological reserve. Oh, you can have doggies in here. Can you have cats? Yeah. All the way on. No fireworks, dumping the rubbish. Wong Sik Pa. So why is this a geological reserve? Do you know? Oh, there's a lizard. Oh, we have a stump-tailed lizard, skink, and it's eating a mushroom. Now, don't give a shit about us. So this is not a blue-tongued lizard. Can't remember the scientific name. Geological Reserve has a lot of tracks like this and this should be actually be in the, uh, might be in the granite or might be in another formation so what are we looking at here of flat granodoro it's a luco granite uh, non-magnetic so luco granite means from out under crust no dark mineral so this should be light colored igneous type find the medium grained equi green you know quartz feldspar hornblende alkali feldspar and it's got dikes in it which are diorite dikes but you probably won't be able to see those uh, and there's supposed to be a lead on top of it, so that's where we are now. Which is the White Hills gravel. So it's a gravel, colluvial deposits. Uh, uh, what's it made of? Okay, vein quartz from the uh, vein, in, uh, the quartz that's been built up in the uh, actual fractures. Meta sediment pedu. Um, pebbles so that meta sediments up north now melt moon meta basalt that's also up north so and this is 65 to 55 million years ago so the mount william meta basalt and the other types of rocks probably were here and have just been eroded so i've got coarse grain sand clay commonly kaolinized so that's just clay or ferrugonized uh, open framework, poorly sorted, mildly consolidated to unconsolidated. So, that would be, I would guess, is that where they actually uh, were mining the actual uh, gold from, the White Hills gravel, which here yeah, looks like this is a, a, the actual gravel, so we have a lot of quartz in it. Or this could also be just what's left over. So this could be a tailing, but it's hard to tell. So, we have a lot of kaolin, looks like. Um, that is, this looks like clay, so kaolinized clay. Which is, clay is pretty much white when it's fresh. And it goes a different colour, so this will probably go like a brown colour when it has lots more organics. 
So, this is just the entrance. And now this is this is actually quite sandy. Could be just dry clay, could be sand sized particles. But anyway. Oh, cherry ballard. Nice beautiful plant. Here we have a a wattle. So we have various species of wattle. So it does look like just at the start we have a change in matrix from this, probably derived from the actual granite. And on top of it we have the actual uh, White Hills gravels. So this definitely is a type gravelly type material. Yeah, not very consolidated. So this is about 65 to 55 million years old. Lots of quartz. Lots of. This must be the meta sediment. Yeah, metamorphosed sedimentary rock. So caused by, well, the orogeny that happened here. So it is. Uh, been quite a few we have okay so if I can check whereabouts it is okay so about 430 to 420 at the Benambran orogeny deformation and then we had another one the Tabe Barbarian, 380 to 370 million years old. So that's where this, not this wasn't metamorphosed because that happened after orogeny, but this stuff was, and then it was eroded and then placed here. So that looks like the yeah, the White Hills gravel. area I don't know about the mining process they used here so that's why they've got information booths I'm just interested in the actual geology so so the White Hills gravels as far as I know a lot of the deep leads are in that lots of native flora Here we have the actual granite. Hmm. Obviously, not really many mafic minerals in this one. It looks so beautiful. You can tell it's an actual granite by the way it's actually eroding. So onion foliation is associated with uh, this type of uh, igneous rock. So on top of it looks like we have the gravels. What's left? It's probably this is probably already been worked and here we have 
This is the commissioner's. Is that camera going? Yeah. Commissioner's flat grano diorite. Doesn't really look like much of a grano diorite to me. Probably just a, a grano. So, looks pretty fine grain. So, this is probably heading towards the a raw light stage. Chris is a big bit, it's pretty eroded so you're not really going to see much here. Apart from uh, the light reflection. Hmm. Huh? Uh, this is all the granite, it's been stripped. The, the top's all been stripped. They, they look for gold here. Yeah. Yeah, so, so this is all erosion over a hundred years. Look at you. Yeah. Proof. What the hell is this? It's an olive oil. Hmm. Can we hold that? Here it looks like we have love friganized actual rock. So this is high in iron content. So it's pretty much an iron oxide. And where would that have come from? Well, it wouldn't have come from the actual granite. The iron might have come from the granite. So this is probably from the actual. So you can see here. Looks like we have a uh, unconformity or a disconformity. This would be because it'll be a granite intrusion. Obviously, we have the gravels up here, and here we have the actual granite that's pretty much eroded into clays. So there's actually not much of the uh, um, White Hills gravels here anymore. This is also probably from the White Hills gravels. So they couldn't really do anything with this. So what they're looking for is the actual quartz. And you can see, yeah this looks like mineralized quartz. Then we have the 
this looks like a sandstone with some mineralized quartz in it obviously rounded sub rounded so this was deposited about 65 to 55 million years ago in a high energy environment it was supposed to have been uh, a turbidity current down the side of uh, the a shallow environment so if okay so what I have here is 65 to 45 we have Murray basement was created that's up north uh, the sediments that come from here uh, well this one and also the Warina formation okay this is broad deep valleys in central highlands so we're in the central highlands uh, and White Hills gravels was deposited by high energy erosion so that would have just come from some of it might have come from the actual granite uh, at other locations uh, a lot of it would have come from the so over here we have uh, the Mount Ida Mount Evil range so that's Silurian rock over there and So over here we have the Mount Evor range, so that's the high peak. So that is a uh, Silurian Mount Evor sandstone. So here we have some information on the actual rock. So it's shallow water, near shore deposits, fine to medium grain sandstone, minor pebbly suet sandstone and conglomerates. So more of a higher energy environment but shallow seas. Massive to thickly bedded shelly fossils so this is fossil rich so if you're looking for fossils you'd actually go to that mountain range here and around it around the base we have the so more towards the east so over the other side we have the highlands member of the same sandstone uh, it's moderately shallow water yeah, it's thinly bedded turbidite, so we have deeper water over the other side of that mountain range. So that's more like a beach environment. Over the other side, you have that going into deeper waters. In the better bioturbs, so a lot of animals burrowing into the actual rock. Uh, we'll go have a look at that later. Uh, large nested channels, abundant shelly fossils. So that has a lot of fossils over here. So that is what is to the east and then we have what is to the west so we have the Mount Williams fault which separates the greenstone belt so this is the greenstone belt around here we have Cambrian rock which is an andesite so this is an andesite being intruded by granite with uh, some sedimentary deposits on top So you can see the actual grapple on top of the actual granite. Woohoo! Dragonfly. Do you want to keep going? Slowly.
This looks like tailings and workings. So this is just leftover material. Large granite. No, not granite. What's that? Quartz boulder. Lower viewing platform, upper viewing platform. Which way you want to go? Huh? Hmm? You like it? So this is probably all just the leftover material. They got a hose and then like wash the side of it and then they, I think they try to sift it and then afterwards they had to dump it somewhere. Lots of gravels. So this gravel is not supposed to be consolidated. Partially, definitely not sorted. There's poorly sorted open framework, so there is no uh, bedding in the actual White Hills gravels and the geological map it doesn't actually map that there's much of this here it doesn't actually map any of it here but uh, obviously you can see there is some uh, the, so most of this White Hills gravels has been uh, pretty much taken away and this also occurs Further to the east, oh, yeah. they try and look at them for the dragonflies on the side. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, so to the east, we have. Ordovician, Devonian, we also had some Permian glacial deposits which are like 10 to 20 kilometers away so they're not here. They might have been here uh, 250 million years ago and over that time they've just been eroded, weathered away. So here we have the first viewing platform. And there's some information about so 1865 Mac Evor Hydraulic and Coal Mining Co. So that's where the mountain range is named after this guy. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so I'll bring in water here to use to actually wash the material away and just try and get the actual gold mining process hydraulics loose pumping and instead of relying on pressure 
Thank you, gravity. Okay. Colored kaleidoscope. You can see today's remaining granite sliced through the reddish brown cracks filled with quartz. This first surface fine granite was washed by percolating groundwater containing sodium chloride and carbonates. Help dissolve the iron ore minerals and weather the granite. Okay, so this is what we've seen. In the process, the granite became stained iron rich solution. Uh, the colour intensity becoming directly related to the amount of iron or minerals within the cracks. Erosion is processed at such a rate that present service still resembles the moonscape. Okay, so that's basically the actual granite. It's a high iron content because of sodium chlorides and carbonate, salt water. And to dissolve the iron minerals and work with the granites. Maybe there isn't any. White Hills Gravels. Hmm. I would say there are actually some. Because here's the actual granite, fine grain. This White Hills. It just has too much of it. It looks like vein quartz. And it's just on top of here. All this is most likely the actual granite. It's been stained red with the actual iron oxide. So this one has iron oxide, it's granite, but then it has avum. So this is definitely not the granite. Anything again?
granite. Okay. Come up this way. Uh, some boring information about the miners.
all this granite. So, this looks like it. Oh, it's been sitting here for quite a long time. And the sandy nature is probably because of all the quartz in the feldspar. You asked me why it's like a beach. It's because this rock has lots of uh, quartz and when it breaks down it turns into sand. Like this stuff. You break this down, it turns into sand. Yeah. Them now. Yeah. Do you know which way we're going? Oh, ant mound. So obviously they're bringing up the coarse material, dumping it on top, making a nice nest. Just walk around them because I uh, don't love human flesh. They'll strip your bones. Okay, looks like this way it goes back to the car park. It's just lots of granite. See any of the actual gravels that we saw before? This iron, they probably come from the gravels as well. Lazy bar andesite, equivalent to plutonic diorite. Uh, deep marine andesite, so obviously that was 520 million years ago in the Cambrian. Fine to medium grain, non vesticular, porphyritic, minor hyoclastite, breccia, and Volcanic sandstone, so obviously there are form sedimentary formations made from that volcanic rock. And this is hmm. sand. Check my hand. My wife thinks I'm dirty. Lata. Hola, mata. Sorry. To the west, so that's pointing that way that we've seen. We have the Knollsley East Shale, that's a Cambrian Shale about 500 million years ago, and it has trilobites, brachiopods, 
pyroid and shelly fossils, but that's all farmland, so you're not really going to get access to that material. And we have the Ordovician Castle Main Group. So it's a deep marine turbidites, hemipelagic sediments. So you've got sandstones, mudstones, shales, siltstones all mixed in together, depending on the location. Obviously the sandstones will be more towards the actual beachfront. And the actual shales will be more hemipelagic. So it's coarse to fine grain, often graded, so you can see the bedding in the material. Uh, diffusely stratified to cross laminated, so you can see the actual actions of the actual uh, water current. Yeah, well sorted. And it has graptolites and phylocarids, so it doesn't have that many fossils in it, which is a pity. So basically, from here, if you want to go fossil hunting, you would be going east. You would not be going west. And most common fossils in this uh, matrix will be trilobites for some reason. They are either articulated or disarticulated. Oh, Terry Ballard. You can eat the fruit off that. Here's a young one. So these tap on to the actual roots of this eucalyptus and they they're like a parasite but they're a delicious one can you add enough here? And here we are back in, back at the main workings. So I'm pretty convinced this is the actual gravels. There's a lot of iron stones which are described in the geology reports. And the white is the granite. It's not really a granite die, right? Although, maybe mineralogically, chemical analysis come back with that report. So now we're going to see some other places. Do you want me to fall over? Anyway, so my wife says I can't fall down because I don't have enough insurance. Which is, uh, is that sad or not? Yeah, that's very sad. I always get lots of insurance. Your wife will be very happy. Happy wife, happy life. Happy, happy, always some. No. I know I'm crazy. Actually, I'm normal. Everyone else is crazy. So as you see before, if you ever get lost here, there's still lots of dinner you can find in the bushes. You can eat the leaves, you can eat the grass, you can eat that lizard back there. Lots of roadkill around the place, just barbecue it. Beautiful. Lots of, not really that many birds. You got that is oh it's a parasite, what do they call it? Mistletoe, that's it. Here you go. Learn about your plants. Small rice trail, maybe it has rice in it. Yeah, you can probably eat eat those flowers. This one's a bit dry, you can't really eat it. Uh, what else? 
This one I like this plant, can't remember the name of it. It's when it's dry it makes good tinder for your fire. And these iron bark, eucalyptus trees. So I wouldn't like to be here when there's a bushfire. Everything would just be black and well done. So we won't be able to eat anything, is that true? Hey gang ganga. Then gone. In the spring, so there's lots of these flowers. What are these flowers, darling? The end.